So there are a couple of things that you're going to need in order to make this happen. And it's pretty simple. You're needing some peat moss. Now, this you can buy from your local garden centre and there are various forms of it. Just make sure that whatever you get, the bag says peat moss. That's important. The other thing that you're going to need is some cement. You're going to need a mixing bowl, a mould that you're going to use for your shape, a black plastic bag or any bag that you can use as your liner, pair of scissors, and Garth, you can hold those up, exhibit A four little pieces of wire and we'll show you why you're going to need those a little bit later but let's get down to the mix it's pretty simple we're going to use scoops as our form of measurement and it's two scoops of peat into our mixing bowl one two and one scoop of cement glorious stuff right Garth you want to start mixing that and I'm going to get these guys out the way the important thing to look out for when you are mixing is that you get rid of all of these little guys over here. Because if you don't get rid of them, the cement is not getting in there and then it's not going to bind properly. So this does take a little time, but it's well worth it. Garth is looking awesome. Yeah, it's well mixed in. Yeah, yeah, nice. Okay, right, now we're just going to add a little bit of water in at a time. That's the one. Perfect. And I just like mixing it with my fingers at this point. And just mix it all in nicely. Right, folks, the consistency that you're wanting for this is as follows. If you can make a ball with it, just like that, and that ball stays nice and solid while you're throwing it around, because that's what's important. If you do this and it starts crumbling, you know you need to add a bit more moisture to it because as you start working with it, it's going to do exactly the same. So, right, we're good to go. I'm delighted with that. This is going to be our mould. Now, folks, with this part, you can go wild. You can use, gosh. Any shape you want. Lids of dustbins. The bottom of your favourite salad bowl. <laughs> um, you could use almost anything, really. Anything that's got a nice flat base, because remember, bird feeders, we want it to be nice and wide to allow for lots of birds to be able to perch on the edge and get in. Bird feeder that big ain't going to do anything. That'll be like dinner meals for wheels on one or something. It just ain't going to do the job. So nice and wide brim at the bottom, and this is going to be our mould. This is where our black plastic comes in. Garth, you just want to pop that in there and then I'll just get away the edges there. That's the one. Okay, now just to make life a bit easier, I'm going to cut off these edges right now. It'll just look a whole lot neater. Okay, we can do away with this. Right, now the plastic is basically an option as a releasing agent and that's all it does. Instead of having to put something in here, you put the black plastic and it works perfectly, absolutely perfectly. So we take our good lump of the stuff and you're going to start at the base in the middle. So just hold it up like that, you're just going to bang it in, bang it at the bottom. You want to make sure that it's at least two centimetres thick. Anything thicker is overkill, anything thinner you're teetering on the edge of it snapping. So two centimeters is about where you want to go. If you find that your mixture starts drying out a little bit, just take a bit of water and just flick it inside. Garth, just pass me that watering can there. And I'm going to show you, just rather do this and just flick a little bit on it. Much safer than pouring in loads of water. How are you doing there, Garth? Right. Don't need some more. Okay, here we go. Bang it in. And you'll notice Garth is just using his knuckles and he's just pushing it down with his knuckles. Works nice and evenly and you get a nice firm support within there. Garth, you happy with the base there? Yes, base is fine. We just need to build up the sides now, don't you? Right, here we go. Now, as we put it in to build the sides, you can then start getting the right curve that you're wanting on the inside of your bird feeder. We basically just work that round all the way around, and remember this is a bird feeder, not a bath. We're gonna be putting seeds inside here, so it doesn't need to be very deep. It literally just has to have a small lip on either side. Like 
Lovely garth. Yes, very nice, Tanya. Take a look here, folks. You can see we're not going far up onto the edges. We've just got a nice little tray over here, which when it's dried will be perfect for the seed to sit in there. The final bit that we've got now, those four pieces of wire, which was exhibit A, remember? Garth, those little pieces of wire, explain to folks what we're going to do okay, with them. Okay, what we're going to do with this eight gauge wire, this is going to be hanging from a tree. So we need to make a hole on each side, one there, one there, one there, and one over here. And then we can, do, when it's dry, you just thread your nylon rope or whatever you want to put through it. Mm. It's important to put the holes in now, to put the wire in now. It avoids having to drill and really it makes the cement dry around it so your concrete dries or your hyper tufa mix dries without then having to interfere with it. The holes are ready there, nice and secure. And kill your heel and kill your dar. And we are done. Very, very easy. All you got to do now is leave it to dry. This guy's going to take about 24 hours. That's it. How do you know it's dry? Well, you'll see a changing color. Right now, Garth and I are going to let this one dry and show you one that we made a day ago. Alrighty, folks, this is the one that we made a day ago, and it's pretty simple. Take a look here. Aha. Pull these guys out first. Here we go. Okay, now, last one. To take it out, this is how you do it. Put your hand on the inside. Hold it there. Turn it over. Lovely stuff. Pull off your black plastic. And there we have a gorgeous feeding trough. Now, of course, you're going to say, well, those were the wires. We needed those there for a reason. And that's because we've got this nice twine. And all you're going to do is feed it through the hole here. There we go make a good few solid knots at the end here because remember this knot needs to be thicker than that hole because you don't want it to fall there we go perfect stuff one goth how high should we make our feeder about there yep that looks yep. right okay so i'm going to cut this guy off over here righty up let him hang out there Last one to go in. That's it. Tie it off the same. Radio. Okay. Sift these guys up. Pull it through. And at this point now, this is the one that we don't cut too short. We're going to make this about double the length. Okay, Garth, and we're going to just make sure that these are nice and even. Okay, so that's why I work off an even surface. Take them over there, and we're then going to tie them up. tight through Lovely. you can then cut these bits off and there you have it one times hanging feeder how easy is that bob's your uncle mary can be your aunt as well and it's all sorted good to go Alrighty, garden has been planted up all we need to do now is put our bird feed up and wait for the birds so if you are putting any nylon or any rope that is for that matter in a tree, it's advisable just to take a little piece of hose pipe like this. Just put it through because what that does is it stops the nylon from cutting into the tree. Because eventually this nylon will actually cut right through the bark and the bark will actually grow over it. Not a very friendly thing for trees. So here we go. Garth, let's just pop him up a little bit more. Okay, let that baby go. Ooh, nice one, baby. And if it's going to be at a height that is too tall for you. So if you're wanting to put it quite high up, if you've got cats in the garden, then simply take this and tie it to another branch. If not, you can decide on your height that you're wanting and then just tie it off. There we go. Beautiful stuff. Our little bird feeder hanging, looking gorgeous. All we need now is a bit of bird seed inside our feeder and we are good to go.